21st century businesses, including small businesses, need to sell more American products overseas. Today, our businesses export more than ever, and exporters tend to pay their workers higher wages. But as we speak, China wants to write the rules for the world's fastest growing region. That would put our workers and our businesses at a disadvantage. Why would we let that happen? We should write those rules. We should level the playing field. That's why I'm asking both parties to give me trade promotion authority to protect American workers with strong new trade deals from Asia to Europe that aren't just free, but are also fair. It's the right thing to do. Look, I'm, I'm the first one to admit I'm the first one to admit the past trade deals haven't always lived up to the hype. And that's why we've gone after countries that break the rules at our expense. But 95% of the world's customers live outside our borders. We can't close ourselves off from those opportunities. More than half of manufacturing executives have said they're acti actively looking to bring jobs back from China. So let's give them one more reason to get it done. 21st century businesses will rely on American science and technology, research and development. I want the country that eliminated polio and mapped the human genome to lead a new era of medicine. I intend to protect a free and open internet, extend its reach to every classroom and every community, and help folks build the fastest networks so that the next generation of digital innovators and entrepreneurs have the platform to keep reshaping our world. I want Americans to win the race for the kinds of discoveries that unleash new jobs.